I want to thank the uh, the chair. Uh, also, thank Senator Donnelly. Appreciate it. I, I wanted to uh, ask uh, Secretary Carter. Uh, recently, uh, the Iranians have actually tested a long-range missile in violation of existing UN Security Council resolutions. Um, this is something that Ambassador Power has confirmed. And in fact, if you look at what the Iranians have done uh, post-agreement, not only have they tested this missile, but of course they've um, wrongfully convicted a Washington Post reporter in Iran. And they, of course, we've had a lot of discussion today about the cooperation between Russia and Iran undermining uh, stability in Syria and our interests there. So I've also brought, been brought to my attention recently that the Supreme Leader uh, of Iran has actually said about the recent agreement that any imposition of sanctions at any level under any pretext, including repetitive and fabricated pretexts of terrorism and human rights on the part of any countries involved in the negotiations will constitute a violation of the JCPOA. So here's my question um, to both of you, and primarily to you, Secretary Carter. What are we going to do about their violation of already existing UN resolutions when it comes to testing ballistic missiles and long-range missiles? And you know, you, you're the one that testified before this committee. The I and ICBM is intercontinental. And uh, as I see it, already Iran is violating resolutions with no response from us. Already, the uh, Supreme Leader is basically saying, you impose sanctions on any reason, um, even our support for terrorism or other human rights violation, we're going to walk away from the JCPOA. So do you not agree that their violation of the missile resolution warrants a response from the United States of America. And what is that response going to be? Because at this point, I haven't seen any response. I, I think that um, it's, it needs to be very clear, it's certainly clear to us in the Department of Defense, that the conclusion of the uh, nuclear deal with Iran uh, assuming it gets implemented, which is part of what your question uh, gets to, does does not address all of our security concerns. But let me ask you this: just Iran, yes or no? Should we respond to their testing of this missile that violates existing UN resolutions? I, I, I'll describe one response that is in our in our area, uh, and that is our continuing commitment to the development of missile defenses. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we are developing and field. I understand that we're developing missile defenses, but what is our response when they behave badly already? Shouldn't there be a response from the United States of America? We had recently a panel of experts here, and I asked each of them, and they came from different perspectives, if we should respond, and they all agreed yes. Well, I, the, in our area of responsibility, uh, I, I would say this. Uh, uh, Senator, I'll let the uh, uh, Ambassador Power and Secretary Kerry address the diplomatic side of it, but in our area of responsibility, and I made this clear right from the beginning of the uh, uh, in negotiations on the Iranian uh, nuclear deal, that that does not end all of our security concerns with respect to Iran. I mean, uh, that is why, Mr. Secretary, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time, but ending, it seems not ending. It seems like it's just beginning, really, as we think about this whole unholy alliance between Russia and Iran undermining our interests in Syria, as we think about them testing um, in our faces this long-range missile, as we think about what the Supreme Leader has basically said, any sanctions, we're going to walk away from the JCPOA, I would say that it's really just beginning. Um, 